Welcome back to the collection. This week we're going to get stuck on some stickers. Uh, these are just going to be a whole bunch of random stickers, third party, first party, uh, early 2000s stuff. So we got some rock stars, Smuggler's Run, Midnight Club. Oops, I flipped that one over the wrong way. Whoa, Midnight Club. Smugglers run. You know the rules. There are no rules. Uh, some Nintendo Power stuff here. We've got some Mario Party. I really loved uh, Mario for President. Uh, Mario Kart Double Dash. I don't think there's anything on the backs of these. These were definitely Nintendo Power stickers. Um, I don't know if I can squeeze this all in here. I loved this one for uh, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, I think, the first Game Boy Advance one. Uh, them, like, <laughs> addressing Luigi a little more, like, like you could actually choose instead of they just go together. You always get Luigi with Mario. Uh, let's see, here's some Fire Emblem something. I don't know who any of those people are still. Four Swords Adventures, uh, we're back to... Nothing on the back there. Rockstar, there's a, a weird reflective, well, that doesn't play at all. Uh, we got a Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition press kit, basically a blockbuster. I think this was part of it. Uh, it looks like this would have been attached in a magazine and you could rip that part off. Um, just a whole freaking bunch of Atari stickers. This would have been, oh, I cannot put all of it together in my head, but pretty much any of their early 2000s Atari releases had a little sheet of these stickers in the case. So I probably took a bunch of these from Blockbuster when we were just throwing them away. Uh, 3DO put out Johnny Mosley Mad Tricks. They sent me a bunch of stickers that say, go huck yourself. Apparently that's a downhill skiing term. Uh, what was this, MX Freestyle, like motocross? This was Electronic Arts Freak Style. I thought for sure it was motocross, but I don't think Electronic Arts did much motocross stuff. Uh, yeah, this is um, an Assassin's Creed iron-on, I think. There's nothing on the back of those Freak Style stickers. Uh, you can transfer this onto your own white nerd shirt. Oh, and put it on the sleeves and everything. Wow. I uh, never did that. I'm not sure if that would transfer now or not. It's been a while. Uh, Armed and Dangerous was a game that I really wanted to like. It was very funny. Even their advertising was funny. I'm pretty sure, yeah, these are stickers. You can put them on your car, your TV, your piano. <laughs> Do not put them on poop. Do not put them on weapons-grade plutonium. Don't put them on a working man's smile. Note from your friends at LucasArts, the diagonal slashing through each of the lower three examples, along with the word no preceding them, are there to indicate to the dear reader we do not endorse the application of these humorous little stickers on the exposed crevasse of a bend-over plumber's buttocks, any radioactive material which may cause you to glow in the dark, or three, bovine-originated, bacteria-infested dollop of dung, all of which may cause sickness, unpleasantness, or personally, possibly, personal extinction. Finally, when we say your, as in your TV set, or piano, car, or piano, we are referring to objects that are your personal property, not your parents, your friends, or just objects in your world. Thank you. Uh, I have several sheets of those from uh, magazines. Uh, these are pretty cool. Nintendo, more Nintendo Power stuff. These were uh, window clings, like vinyl, vinyl clings for Pikmin. Uh, I had another one of these that was on a window of mine at home for a long time. Um, also vinyl clingy, and from Nintendo Power. I guess maybe they got a deal on vinyl printing in 2001. Uh, go to the web. Oh, man, I wonder. <laughs> That's not going to be there. Um, you could, you know, one of these things like, uh, you may not be familiar with these, but 
as a kid, there were a lot of optical illusion reader secret code type things that would be, you know, printed on cereal boxes or in magazines. And this was apparently Nintendo's collaboration with Activision to do something. Uh, nothing like being a fan of Spider-Man and Nintendo Power and, and letting the world know by putting this on your car window. A uh, little later, I think these were later, well, it still would have been early 2000s, um, the sheet from Nintendo Power with some memory card labels and just some other assorted stickers. I almost thought this was really cool. They didn't seem to do this stuff that often. Great, a whole bunch of Wind Waker screenshots that are stickers. Why not? And lastly, I think this one, yeah, this was a 2005 Nintendo Power. Uh, so this would have been just on the border of the Wii. Um, I don't remember what these stickers that I cut out were, but uh, I apparently only have one set of these. Uh, so there we go. That's uh, just some random stickers, vinyl clings, some pithy ads, and iron-on transfer. A whole bunch of Atari stickers. Just uh, stickers and things that came out of games and magazines that we would just unceremoniously throw away or get rid of otherwise at Blockbuster. So... There we go. Thanks for watching, taking a look at some stickers. I have more, more stickers and, and printed stuff like this from magazines, so there will definitely be a part two to this later. Uh, maybe not the next week, but keep an eye out for it in the future. Thanks for watching.